Ask me quickly before I forget, she said to me as I went about setting up my recorder and camera. I looked up, surprised by the urgency of her tone. There was little I knew about my grandmother's history, apart from the fact that she was born in a city now across the border. Except for the lone memory, brought on mostly by the elegant portrait of her mother hanging on the wall in her room, Bhag Malhotra never spoke of the tragedy that caused her family to migrate to Delhi. So the alarm with which she uttered these words made me consider that perhaps age had caused the wall she had built around her history to slowly crumble away. Something had changed. Something had stirred inside her. Maybe she feared that if the past didn't surface now, it would fade into oblivion forever. Or maybe the reason she had never opened up before was simply because she'd never been asked. Are you ready? I smiled at her unexpected eagerness. She nodded, sitting up and straightening her sweater as I turned on the recorder. All right, just begin whenever you want to. His death left my mother all alone with six young mouths to feed, she continued. She was married at 12 and widowed at barely 25. We were five sisters, she said counting the names on her fingers. Kaushalya, Sumitra, Shakuntala, me and Dharam. And one brother, Madan Mohan. I think Dharam must have been just six months old when our father passed away. From the large plastic box of medicines beside her bedside table, she took out an ivory envelope from which she retrieved an aged sepia tone photograph. Slowly and precisely, she placed it on the bed. Her father, separated too early from his family, looked up at me. With smooth skin and a dark and dense complexion, he was the original bearer of the sharp features passed down to my grandmother. He sat imposingly, dressed in a western coat and white turban. Tracing her fingers along the edges of the photograph, she shook her head from side to side. When I look at this photograph, I think to myself, yeah, this is what he was like. This was his face. This was the color of his skin. These were his hands. This is how he wore his turban. This is the coat he owned. But from memory, kuch nahi yaad. I don't remember anything about him. Where was this? And then it began. Gradually and with utmost care, each solid layer that had congealed with the passing of years was pulled back to reveal a childhood I could have never imagined.